Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Intel AMT vulnerability. Before I start, do know that this story comes from the request of Murray. If you ever have a security story you're interested in, be sure to contact the Secplicity blog and we'll be sure to cover it if it's interesting. In any case, over the past few weeks, we've heard of a new vulnerability in certain Intel processors called the AMT vulnerability, or which the original researcher Embedi is calling Silent Bob is Silent. Now to start, if you don't know what AMT is, AMT stands for Active Management Technology, and it's a special load of firmware that's only available in certain Intel server processors. The special firmware makes it easy for uh, business administrators to actually manage these Intel desktops remotely, even when they're turned off. The big thing to know about this AMT technology is that it's not in all of Intel processors. Most consumer Intel PCs will not have this particular firmware uh, installed on it, and it only affects certain processors. So this issue primarily affects certain server-grade uh, Intel platforms out there that have specifically enabled the AMT or small business management technology. Now, the vulnerability is actually a big deal. As I mentioned, it was discovered by a research group called Embedi. And basically, uh, AMT allows uh, remote administrators to actually manage desktops, directly manage the Intel CPU over the network on various ports. And typically, this requires authentication. But long story short, these researchers found a way to just send a packet to one of these AMT-enabled CPUs and gain full root access to that particular CPU. You. And that means they can do anything from modify the computer, load firmware, and do anything they want over a network. Now, the good news is typical network restrictions apply. This particular uh, AMT communication uses port 16992 through 16995, and also sometimes port 623 and port 625. If you don't allow those ports to your computer, a remote attacker won't actually be able to exploit this over the network. Now, the good news is most firewalls will block that by default. For instance, WatchGuard's Firebox will not allow that sort of network access from the internet. So as long as you haven't allowed it, you're safe from at least internet-based attackers exploiting this vulnerability. That said, this makes for a great internal exploit that will work on a local area network. In any case, the main takeaway here is if you're using any Intel-based platform that enables the AMT technology, this is a pretty big vulnerability and you're going to want to patch it. The hardest part of this vulnerability will be finding those platforms just because it doesn't affect every Intel product. It only affects certain server-based Intel processors, and not all of them actually enable AMT. A number of vendors that have affected servers include HP, Dell, Lenovo, and many others. And by the way, if you have any server that has the vPro tag, it is probably vulnerable to this. And that said, you can also have other network gear that might use Intel processors that could be vulnerable. So that's really the hardest part here. By the way, if you're a WatchGuard Firebox customer, do know some of our Fireboxes do use Intel processors. In fact, two of our larger products, the 4600 and 5600, do have processors that could support AMT, but the good news is we are not vulnerable to this. We basically don't load the AMT SDK or, or any of the firmware you would need to be vulnerable to this particular issue. If you want, you can actually scan our devices for those ports I mentioned. So practical takeaways. Check out some of the links I put in the blog post associated with this video to help you identify whether or not some of your processors products are vulnerable to this particular AMT issue. By the way, Intel has released a network scanner that can actually scan your network looking for vulnerable appliances as well. On top of that, be sure to firewall these ports, 16992 through 16995, 623, and 625. There's no reason to allow internet users to access those ports, and you can also segment your network and firewall them internally. That will help for sure. In any case, interesting story. Hopefully you apply the firmware update as soon as you can. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.